Java RMI architecture. Here you can see a Java RMI uh, architecture in uh, in a different view. Um, in a distributed system, applications run in all different machines in a network. Uh, these applications need to communicate with each other uh, and uh, each other to send commands and exchange computations. Uh, so computation results from time to time. A socket is the basic communication uh, mechanism that is supported by almost every programming language and operating system. Sockets are highly flexible, but they are at a level that uh, that is that uh, is too low to, for developers because new protocols need to be designed for specific purposes and they need to encode and decode messages, for example. Java platform provides the developers with uh, Java RMI, uh, which ulti uh, utilizes features such as dynamic class loading and reflection of Java, and uses a st stub object to manage the method invocations. Uh, developers simply create a stub that is uh, used to make method invocations, which takes care of marshalling and invocation and sending it to the remote RMI server. Uh, from developer's viewpoint, this is just like calling a remote object. Uh, architecture of RMI is shown here. All RMI servers register with the registry server uh, of their hosting remote object. RMI clients first look up stubs uh, uh, of a remote object uh, on the registry server, uh, which they subsequently use to call their corresponding remote object. Uh, stub is very important in uh, Java RMI. It acts as a remote object to the client application by implementing the same interface as the remote object. The client uh, application invokes methods on a stub and the stub will carry out the methods call on the remote uh, object. It marshals the parameters to the uh, remote JVM, uh, wait for the results and uh, uh, Unmarshals the return value and returns the result to the application. Uh, in this work, uh, this application. Uh, so here, uh, you can see a uh, stub and transport are inside client. Here, stub and transport are inside client. Uh, clients interacts with his registry. Uh, transport interacts with server here. Here, uh, transport interact with server via RMI. Here, um, client interacts with registry and retrieve uh, stubs. Now. Uh, this is the uh, end of my presentation. Thank you very much for watching it.